Kamala was born, her grandmother died in 1960. So who is that woman that is in the photo with Kamala? There's something weird here. Then why would she put, why would you, one, someone make that fake image? Assumably it's Kamala's family or whatever trying to push it. And then like, you know, why would you, uh, why would you, why would you publish that? Cause that's like very weird to do. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to the Cold Popcast. I'm Zoe. And I'm Steve. And today we're going to be talking about Kamala Harris, but not from a political standpoint. We're going to be tackling the controversial notion of whether or not Kamala Harris is a black woman. Yeah, so it turns out um, that there's a lot of different conspiracies and thoughts and you know chains of thought that are sort of surrounding the idea of Kamala Harris being of non-black descent. Right. I don't necessarily know enough about the facts to have an opinion either way. Um, if she's black or not, it really doesn't make a difference to me, to be honest. But Candace Owens recently dropped a very long series of podcast shorts and videos discussing whether or not Kamala Harris is black. So we're going to dive into it and we're going to see what Candace Owens thinks about it, because she's saying it's one of the biggest conspiracies that America has ever seen. <laughs> yeah, she's covering it up. Yeah. She's lying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see this first clip. We have a few. And why yeah. Candace will bring this all to light. Yeah. I can't find any evidence that Kamala Harris is black. So first, let's start with just Kamala Harris's birth certificate. In the bottom there, you can see that it says that her father's name is Donald Jasper Harris and that the color or the race of the father is listed as Jamaican. So you can be Jamaican. You can grow up in Jamaica and not be black. Obviously, uh, it's like yes. Elon Musk, like he was born and raised in Africa. Mm. It would be absurd mm. for Elon Musk to say mm. that he was black because he is not black. He is a white African. This is an alleged photo of Beryl Christie Harris, okay? Kamala is the one that entered this into the public domain in her book. She wrote, visiting my paternal grandmother, Beryl in Jamaica, okay? Beryl was born in 1921 and she died in 1960. 1964 is when Kamala was born. Her grandmother died in 1960. So who is that woman that is in the photo with Kamala? There's something weird here. I can't find- hmm, All right, pause it, yeah. So what do you guys think so far about this whole mysterious situation right Wait, yeah she said when did she die she died in 1960 but Kamala a, wasn't born yet she has a picture with somebody that died you're starting to see the conspiracy, huh, Lizzie? Lizzie, <laughs> wait, wait, what? Like, hold on. It's, it's like slowly clicking for him. Like, <laughs> hey, wait. He just had a goosebumps moment. <laughs> so cue the song music. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, oh, great. yeah tonight great already, he's going to get it. kidnapped by the lizard people. <laughs> yeah, right. he figured it out. <laughs> got this photo with someone born and <laughs> that died in 1960. What the? Yeah, yeah that's that is crazy, like some right? goosebumps stuff, though. That's that's crazy because I'm like, um, you know, assuming all this is actually true, like that that woman in the photo is like, okay, she she's confirmed died in 1960. Then why would she put? Why would you, one someone make that fake image? Assumably it's Kamala's family or whatever trying to push it, and then like, you know, why would you? Uh, why would you? Why would you publish that? Because that's like very weird to do. That's where all the conspiracy oh. comes in, man. Yeah. It's like, why would you do that? Yeah, you know, because I'm like, if you're acting, you know, cause, you know, the, the thing is, you're you're putting that image out there to prove that you have black lineage in your family. Yeah. But it's like, okay, if you're if you're black, if you're you know, if you're easily provably black, like I have a father that is Jamaican black, then <laughs> one, you wouldn't need to have to have that image, and then to find out that it's a fake image, you know, that's just like. What what is what's the point of you doing this? And like, I mean, what are you trying honestly, to show I, with that? I'm starting to think Kamala was made in a lab. I don't know. I'm starting <laughs> to buy it. Maybe yeah. her V chip got activated, and now she's going to be the president. I don't know because that that that's v funny chip. to me because that like goes beyond just like trying to prove you're black. That's like almost like is she a, like that's like I'm trying to cover up the fact I'm a clone. <laughs> <laughs> she's got like she's got like scrambled memories, and she can't remember exactly who anyone is. Yeah, so she's like oh, this is chip. my grandma. Yeah, her chip malfunctioned a little bit. Yeah. yeah. She, she All right, let's actually see. So there's a part two to that se that part of the clips right there. So let's see that one. Okay. We decided to continue our research to see if we could find birth certificates and marriage certificates and death certificates, which could further signify those points. And indeed it did. As speculated, we were able to confirm that Kamala's black grandmother <laughs> that she showed us in that picture died in 1960 before Kamala was born. I can show you right now her death certificate. As you can see there, it says that she died in July of 1960. And so this is a 
huge, huge scandal. <laughs> Just an absolutely huge, huge scandal. Huge. Kamala Harris published in her book that she was standing next to her grandma Beryl. But Grandma Beryl died in 1960, four years before Kamala Harris was born. The last night so was here, You know what's weird to me? I'm like, either that's a fake image that she put in her book for the explicit purpose of trying to hide a secret, mm -hmm. or like, what if it's even deeper? Like, what if that's not even Kamala in the picture? Mm. Like, what if the picture's real, but that's not her? Yeah, that's what true. Like her grandma. Yeah. I, mean, I can't even tell if you're joking or not, but I actually think, like, yeah, it could actually <laughs> literally not be her. No, no, no. That's I, I mean that seriously because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's it's it's a very strange thing. Yeah, she just got like a doppelganger to take a picture for the book, and then the book. I don't know. I mean, I, the I, real Kamala died in like 1985. <laughs> <and> this, <laughs> she this stole her clone. identity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, What's now she's grandma? running for president. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I need to see more, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Like, can you go to the next clip? <laughs> can you see a little bit more? Yeah, this oh, is, is there uh, part this three? Is deep, this is uh, it's not part three. This is a continuation on uh, the similar topic. Though. I see. So this black grandma, I'm assuming it's a black grandma from her... Uh her her dad's side because uh, like, I think it's the dad side, yeah. Yeah, because it couldn't well, that, be mom's that, side. That guy might not even be her real dad. That's what, yeah. You know, who knows at this point? Shit, yeah. anything could be possible. Yeah, I don't know, man. Hmm, like look Not my president. <laughs> Another email that was received, a headline in the email was, Kamala Harris is, is German Jewish. This guy is saying, no, I have figured this out, actually. We do know who the father was of Joseph Alexander Harris, it was Bravo Harris. Joseph Bravo, by the way, had a brother, and his name was Michael Ralph Bravo, and he is registered as a Freemason in Jamaica. Look at this. The Hebrews resident from the same book in St. Anne parish assembled for divine worship on Yom Kippur at the home of Joseph Harris. And he believes that this is the father of Joseph Alexander Harris. If, if this is correct, he is saying that this would of course be known to the Harris family. They would obviously know that she had Jewish relatives, which again, just keeps leading us to this question of why hide any of this? This is not something that the world would be upset about or angry about. So I, I just don't understand why we are hiding certain relatives, pretending not to know certain ancestral things. What is the explicit aim of that another email hmm. that okay so she's jewish <laughs> <laughs> this is like a radical turn I, I don't know this whole kamala conspiracy is getting like kind of weird <laughs> yeah right i'm gonna find out she's related to george soros for <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like george soros's niece <laughs> <laughs> no one could figure it out until now yeah yeah i mean i like i mean honestly though but the journalism on this one is like oh i received an email from some random person <laughs> <laughs> that kind of kind of draws away at the credibility yeah i figured this out so Look some this, guy i, I, I put tree i just said <laughs> yeah. I, I, drew, I put tree. five I just, little uh, tidy uh, pictures paid. and drew them together on Microsoft Paint. <laughs> I think I'm getting to the bottom of this. Case. Yeah. <laughs> All you need are like the little red lines going across a huge board on a wall, and then it's like yeah. looks more legit. Yeah, like you know, I don't want to like vouch for Candace Owens in any way on this because like I don't necessarily hate Candace Owens. I agree with her politically on most things, but honestly, I feel like just the way she's talking in these videos is so newsy and like it, it's like a. Uh, how would you describe it? Like a like, like 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 if someone's doing like a gotcha moment. Yeah. It's like the whole thing is like a gotcha moment for all of these. Yeah, it's got like a very uh, con you know conspiratorial twist. This like, is a scandal. Yeah, don't you think this is crazy? Yeah, isn't it weird? Like you're not gonna believe this. So what we found was that actually. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much emphasis yeah. Yeah. on these things. And it's, it's like, like it's sports. really like a like, nothing you know. sandwich. Like that's the word that comes to my mind. Well, I guess nothing it, sandwich. I guess it, it, like all this is all right? like all this basically depends on whether how much stock and value you put in whether Kamala being black is going to affect your vote of her. <laughs> <laughs> like that's really what this is. If she is like, if your if your vote is hinging on whether or not she's actually black, then this matters a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know? you know? yeah, it's like it's not even so much whether or not she's black, but the fact that she would lie about you know all of this, any of this stuff. Not yeah. that I'm saying that I know or don't know that she did or didn't, mm -hmm. but if she was found to have been lying about her lineage, and then mm -hmm. you're questioning like, well, why would they do that? Yeah, there would have to be a reason to do that. No, I can agree with that. Where it's like if it like. Because it only matters if they believe it matters too. So, like yeah. you said, if they if they feel like going making the attempt to basically hide it, they're like, oh no, she's definitely a black woman, and you know, and hide that you know she may not be. Then to them, they you know they're already assuming that like, oh, you know, a lot of people's votes are going to be dependent on whether this chick's black or yeah. black or not. I just think like when Candace Candace is trying to like gaslight in that video, she's like, oh, uh, 
She's saying like, oh, uh, this is huge. And she said it twice. <laughs> it's huge. Huge, it's huge, huge this scandal. Is huge scandal. This is a huge scandal. scandal. This is a big video. You should all like it yeah. and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know, that kind of that kind of threw me off too. And she was like, This is a huge scandal. I'm like, it's kind of not though. Like it really <laughs> well, is. Well, it's like any educated person, but yeah. I feel like if she says you know, enough, you'll you know, yeah, you're you, like, okay, can, wow, this is I, a big deal. Yeah. I yeah. could probably rationally say that like who this video is for is for, you know addressing black people who might be voting for her just, you know, because she's black. Yeah. I know. I think that's probably what like it is. Low information. Because like I can acknowledge that there probably is a decent group of, uh, of like black people video. who are voting for her because she's black. Yeah. You know, because for they, sure. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I'm thinking that's pretty much uh, her aim is to kind of appeal to those people like, hey, you know, I know we got thinking like, yeah, black woman in the White House. But what if I told you it would be a woman, but not a black one in the White House? <laughs> that's yeah. true. It's bold <laughs> well, to try I mean, to tackle I, that claim because, I, you know, Science, uh, you know, genetics and science are very easy to track, but well, I very, feel like we've got very bold of her to try to manipulate th reality to not be. Steve what it agree with you, Steve. Steve. <laughs> I think we've gotten no. I think we've gotten this far in the conversation. We may as well watch these last two little clips. Oh yeah, okay. let's we see the next to. one. Yeah. It only gets better. <laughs> but here is something that we do know about Donald. Harris. No, we already saw. We oh, know for a fact that Donald Harris was a committed communist. <gasps> and what do we know what about do you think communists about that? in general? <laughs> communists change their identities the entire time. Historically speaking, every oh. major communist figure that you know changed their name. They don't use their real name. Joseph Stalin was not Joseph Stalin. Vladimir Lenin was not Vladimir Lenin. Pol Pot was not Pol Pot. Pol Pot. A good commie knows that you have to change your identity and continually change your identity. My gut is telling me that Donald Harris is simply lying about who he is. I'm not even convinced that he is Kamala's father at all. Because as I said, the lie Whoa. has to be so big that it was worthy of her changing who her grandparent was in the storyline. What What is it that she's hiding? Like I said, genetics is funny business. You never know what gene you're going to hit, but I am mm, just saying like that, that she really, really, really favors the Oris, who she has gone through great lengths to obscure. But here is something that we... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so... Hmm. It's a nice name, Vioris. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. This goes so far. Maybe her dad isn't her dad. I'm, I'm just, I'm listen. I don't even think that's the actual Kamala Harris. I, I think that's <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I honestly, am, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about a clone, but I'm like, shit, Kamala might be cooked right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. she could be like yeah. impersonating somebody else. Yeah, yeah. She's like a, she's like a body double. She's or she's like a shapeshifter. She's a reptilian, reptilian that's right. taken a, a, a very loose form yeah. of, of who was supposed to be Kamala Harris, but that Kamala Harris actually died, and that Kamala Harris may. Have actually been a black woman, <laughs> you know. We don't yeah, know. I mean, if you take it like, uh, if you look at it in the form of like a grand anime style conspiracy, yeah. where they basically like the whole thing, like Joe Biden was made Obama's vice president, so that Joe Biden could eventually become the president, and Kamala would be his vice president, and then he would step down right when Kamala can step up. Hmm. And it was all planned from day one. Yeah, right. it was all set up. It was all in the yeah. book. It was she, all set up, and now, now, she, now she we was, know. She was, was Kaguya. Mm -hmm. She was Kaguya. Biden was Madara. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was all Joe Biden as Madara. Is hilarious. <laughs> 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 Obito. He can't <laughs> use his Sharingan because his eyes are always closed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like sleepy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> sleepy Sharingan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me use my. Uh, let me use my um, Amaterasu. Uh, <laughs> but wait, my eyelids are on fire now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's retarded. I'm burning myself alive. <laughs> uh, okay, well, oh, there's more. Okay, let's watch one more. One, one more. We don't have to see the. Go to the next one. Not this one. Go to the next one. You the next one's a true bomb. Press as you're out there referring to Janet Jackson is crazy. Right, for suggesting, what did Janet Jackson say? She said that she heard that Kamala's father, Donald J. Harris, was Irish. But <gasps> if we find out that that woman is Kamala's real grandmother and that she decided to appropriate the I can see her, their eyes look the same. who potentially yeah. died younger as her grandmother, hmm. we are watching one of the most diabolical political moves that we have ever seen in the history of this country. I just want to say that. I'm not saying it's true, again, but I'm saying that I don't like the picture. I always find that the, the dog that isn't barking, the fact that they never mentioned these marriages, the fact that they laughed people out of the room when they suggested that Kamala Harris could be white, and the fact that they just refused to mention any aspect of this and are remaining hush-hush on it, doesn't make me feel good. We are getting closer and closer, and I will bet you the DNC is paying attention to this show now. 
depressed. Mm, I diabolical. bet you they are. Yeah. This is fucking diabolical. Man. That is dumb. That's crazy. It's crazy that they would do this to us. Yeah. I'm honestly offended. I, it, I am sick. Well, uh, the part that probably offends me is the fact that, like, they're, they're pushing her blackness as, like, a really big, like, part of her identity. Yeah. Right now. But it's like, Kamala is very racially ambiguous looking. And it's yeah, funny true. because it's like, the the most unobscured, unambiguous part of her heritage is her Indian side. Like, if you ha look at a picture of her mom, her biological mother, she's like, has like the whole like get up on with the dot on the head yeah. like she's like so un she's like so uh you know unmistakably indian yeah that is like if they were going to choose a side of her to put at the forefront of her identity because that matters why wouldn't it be that one yeah cool because they're not True. gonna get there's like what like maybe a million indians in the country I, yeah. yeah, but you know, it's just votes. you know, I'm, it, you, and this is like I said, I'm talking from the perspective that we're all assuming that you know everyone's a, a rational, logical voter who's not like using race as a reason to yeah, yeah, justify yeah. who that's they're like, voting for. That's like the opposite of most votes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's all. Like, if we all were assuming everyone thinks like that, why wouldn't you just you know identify as the you know Indian first at least? Because yeah. that's like the most easy one to like. We don't even have to be like you know, oh, your dad's light skin, his lineage owned slaves and, and your grandmother actually didn't exist in this picture and, and, and uh, it looks like you might be jewish it's like we can literally just go to that side and there's like literally no questioning anything we can right. just say that uh, okay i'm a predominantly indian woman and you know uh, fight me on it i'll right. bring up all my indian <laughs> family onto stage you can see them they're all bobbling their heads like it's, <laughs> it's like, you want iphone 16 yeah that's what i'm saying i'm like you could do that and, and none of this would be a question but you know now but because she has to be a black woman now there's all this weird rhetoric because it's like well how black are we talking exactly <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's the big question yeah, how black, how we black, black are you yeah, how black are you like yeah. obama was half black yeah. that's enough yeah, yeah. He's yeah. That's, half a, that's enough are we growing up in, in you know in compton black or are we washing our greens in the bathtub black <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it like Kaneki from tokyo ghoul <laughs> like, he was the strongest but he was half so that's hmm. why well Right. I didn't watch Tokyo yeah. Ghoul, but being you a half, reference, right? being yeah, yeah, a half makes reference. you the strongest. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. yeah that is sometimes true. you gotta being a half Satan, genes. right? Sometimes half breed is on the strongest breeds. That is true. Go yeah. on. You know, he yeah. was a pretty strong guy. Yeah, got she just gotta find herself a Chi Chi. That's true. Yeah. Or or Videl. Videl. Yeah. What it was Videl. Videl. Well, we got one left. I'm glad. So you really just went, you said level. that the last like four videos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a real watch that I gotta be in. Yeah, let's just. It's only a minute. Let's just. Go yeah, ahead. we'll we'll close out. I'm leaving on a cliffhanger. All right. <laughs> Already watched Kamala completely switch her character wherever she is. Like she totally is a chameleon. Mm. Kamala, 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 Kamala. Oh. We've seen her do this sort of Spanish accent. <laughs> oh, I love you back. <laughs> We've seen her do, she's in front of a black crowd. Suddenly she's like in these streets. Yeah, girl, I'm out here in these streets. Uh. It makes me very uncomfortable <laughs> when someone me. is so comfortable becoming an entirely different person, uh, depending on what crowd they're in front of. Like, you don't have to do that. And if you're doing it, it means that you are willing to be inauthentic to get to where you want to go in life. You're not yourself. Right? You're just somebody that puts on a mask and says, what room am, I, room am I stepping into and what do I have to sell myself as? That is quite literally not someone that you want to have in office. We have already okay. watched well, Kamala. Right. Well, we don't have to talk about this anymore. I do want to say that Candace Owens, her eyes are spaced really far apart. <laughs> Anyone else notice that? Are you trying to say she's a reptilian? <laughs> no, 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 no. Candace isn't the reptilian. So she's a reptilian oh, trying God. to make it like, look like, <laughs> like Tony Elf is a reptilian. No, she's more of a beast that. person. Oh, I yeah. said she's more of a beast kid. Yeah, she's got like Haley Bailey eyes. Like, yeah, no, those Haley Bailey eyes are crazy, bro. Yeah, they're really oh. far apart. The spacing is insane. Yeah, I don't got anything against you know, Candace Owens. Yeah. I mean, she's kind of hot. Yeah, she's a cute face. Yeah, you know? crack. You she she's like a, 35. She does have a white husband. Yeah. yeah. Can't say that I agree with that. All right. Yeah, he's, he's, you know you would take that. You take. Yeah. You're knocking yeah. down. She's all right. You're knocking. Come down. on, we can't sit here and just say Candace Owens isn't attractive. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. she's a bombshell. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> she needs a little bit more booty yeah. meat, and she'll be in this. She'll be in the in the, in the race. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Cold Podcast. Let us know what you think about the Kamala Harris conspiracy. If you yeah. guys think that Kamala Harris is black, then. Uh, unsubscribe <laughs> we don't want you here all right i am re i am only voting for indian kamala all right i'm yeah. gonna give her half a half vote, of the vote exactly. and then yeah, i'm yeah. gonna put my feet into her next meal <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks oh, for watching, God. guys. You can find us on all social media platforms at The Cold Popcast. 
Um, you can also check us out on uh, YouTube, Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, and Rumble. Patreon, $5 a month, gets you access to all of our exclusive content. Thanks for popping in. We got to pop out of here. All right. Peace.